Hello, everyone watching this. Uh, first, before we begin, I must make a few disclaimers. This video is not meant to be representative of NJIT's views or policies at all. This is unofficial. This is the unofficial server that NJIT players use, and I am unofficially recording it. This video is not meant to be a very high quality. It's meant to be a time capsule for the server. Not expecting a lot of views on this, but I'll be happy with it nonetheless. And let's begin. Starting with my house. I know it's probably ugly, but I've worked on it, so I'm proud of it. Uh, let's probably start with this sign. Welcome to Spawn. Map and Terraform written by Seth. I don't know if the population is accurate, but here's the map. We'll cover everything on the map in more detail, so you don't have to pause and memorize it, but if you want to, here you go. NGIT logo, kind of necessary. The uh, courtroom built by Seth. with uh, uh, a <coughs> death pit here. Appreciate that, he made the law process faster. Spawn Hotel, built by Seth. In case you didn't get the memo yet, Seth built a lot of stuff around Spawn. I expect that other people has, have built a lot as well, but I will only be touring the Spawn area in this video for lack of information on other areas. Seth's home away from home. He has a home close enough to Spawn that I will be touring it, but he wanted closer, so he built a second home. This is my sugar cane farm. That's just a guy. The pile of crafting tables that exists for no reason I know of. Portal to the nether roof. Seth's ender pearl shop. I, I don't think I don't think he actually has any stock here. Probably keeps it on him. Moving on. Now to address the elephant in the room. Napalm's deforestation station. It's just a cave with a bunch of a bunch of wood inside. Either he's online when I don't notice and he builds away from spawn, or he simply isn't online anymore. Either way, I haven't seen anyone touch this in a while except myself to buy wood. Now to address this thing. I will not be using anyone's names unless I have their explicit permission or their name is already written for everyone to see. That being said, this is Cassidan Nicchito. With slab walls and a nice view of the rest of the spawn area. Including that, which we'll get to later. As you can see, he has begun turning the entire mountain into hay bales. As his main export is food and agriculture products. And I'm not sure this far into the server a lot of people need that. So I guess he had to use it for something. And I guess that something was showing off.
Look, there's a wheat farm. There's a wheat farm. There's a wheat farm. That, that's a really big wheat farm, actually. Another massive wheat farm. Another wheat farm. I may have said this one twice, I'm sorry. Enchanting table, a windmill. Not much purpose for that. Looks cool though. The actual wheat shop. An with another wheat farm behind it. Floating tree, another wheat farm. I said that one already, sorry. A bridge to the other side of this valley, which he has begun flooding, and a tower to view the progress he's made in flooding it. Nothing on that side of the valley, he just made a bridge across. down here, closed by the wheat, and he made several staircases up and down, taking this one down, <laughs> Seth's pet funeral service, Here's a, uh, here's Puro the Magic Dispenser. It's just a glorified Magic 8 Ball. A glorified Magic 8 Ball that costs money. And uh, here's the golf course Seth made. Just kind of see he decorated pretty, pretty well. Here's my aquarium. Turtles coming soon. I'm not seriously self promoting, you are. Here's the bake shop. Also made by Seth. A billboard. Four out of six items are Seth's. Which is fitting because he also made it. The funny thing is Seth doesn't even go to MJIT. Which is also why he has the time to make all this stuff. And JIT players are allowed to invite their friends on the server, which is what I uh, non-player is allowed on. Hmm. 
Minecraft clearly does not understand the college schedule if it's not letting me sleep during the day. Some villagers mending and unbreaking three. Just here for all to use. Here's Seth's nightclub. Underwater. With an automatic jukebox. And here is Seth's mega build, the Coliseum. I think this is his magnum opus on the server. He made a scoreboard that he maintains. I won an award for being very annoying. He has encouraged people to set up shops within the Coliseum, although only I, him, and Cheeto have done so. With mine being directly on top of sets. Coliseum is just what you'd expect it to be, and it serve, has served its purpose well, although its usage has declined over time, it still stands as just a really cool build overall, I think, for a college server. I think this is an automatic fishing machine. Moving on over here, we have two builds that I don't know the creator of. Sabs I made this one. And a cool little Japanese temple. Not sure if it's finished or not. Well, it looks pretty cool. Uh, another view of the Mountain of Hay. Only a matter of time before we get the Valley of Wheat 2. 2 with the W. Seth's main home. Made a grave for a sword. Uh, an animal rights violation. It's an actual house with a mailbox. A frame of a pipe bomb in his mailbox. A bunch of farms, doghouse, doggo den, I guess. Another storage shed. Just a lot of farms. Quarry. A mine.
mine shaft. A enchanting shed. Again, if it feels like I'm showcasing Seth's build more so than anyone else, it's simply because he built by the spawn area more than anyone else. I have tried and failed to find everyone else's big builds, if there are any others. Here's my inventory, arguably the most important place on the server. I'm not shamelessly self-promoting, you are. Here is the server admin's house. This man maintains the server. If I can just find a sign with this name on it. I know his name is just a weird one. R2 V8 time. And another building sign. There's nothing down there, just a bunch of villagers. Here is where he keeps his storage. I don't think he thought this out though. in case I don't think there is a reason That'll despawn eventually, don't worry. Here is a player I did get permission from to use their name. This is a build made by Olorin. This is actually new. I have never seen a bridge like this before. This is really cool. A nice little shopper's row he's been working on with my shop here at the front all of them follow the same basic template of these weird stairs and a bubble elevator That's why I'm only showing off mine, the others are virtually the same. 
Give or take. I'd make the joke again, but I already made it twice. And there's just a few more things over here and the tour is finished. Unless people want to see more then, of course. Some docks or ransacked village. Just a little little house. A little something that's under construction. And another house whose owner I do not know. Although this one is fairly nice. It's built at a prime location. It's got a basement, got a mine, it's got texture. Got stairs to ladder to the roof, sorry. And a very good looking cobble staircase. Here's a path to the other side of the river. We're a few more houses away. First, here's a honey shop. Is that it's hut? Uh, fishing rod shop. With fish included. This thing, not judging, but it's just a really big wooden box. I can make that. Uh, another little hook. This 
this one more birch themed, I guess. Respect, respect nature, respect life, respect the bees. Respect the vets. I'm not reading that part. Another little hut next to the village. This one with its own mine. And finally, one more nice little cave home. Well, campfire, purple doors. Multi-layered attic. No, no, not attic. Just a storage room, I guess. And right next to a cave. The nether roof has nothing much on it, at least nothing that close to spawn. So that concludes the tour of the NJIT unofficial server spawn area. If you like the video, then like it. Once more, I'm not expecting this video to be big. But I would certainly appreciate it if it was. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this.